Namaste, Dhanava Pranam. By the instruction and grace of our spiritual master, Om Vishnupad Paramahamsa Sripad Bhakti Madhava Puri Maharaj, we are reading Srimad Bhagavatam, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Canto 1, Creation, Chapter 18, Maharaj Parikshit, Cursed by a Brahmana Boy. Text 1. Sutta Uvacha, Yo Bhaidrani Astra Viplusto, Namatur Udarhe Murta, Anugrahad Bhagavata, Krishna Syad Bhuta Karmana. Sri Sutta Goswami said, Do to the mercy of the personality of Godhead, Sri Krishna, who acts wonderfully, Maharaj Parichit, though struck by the weapon of the son of Drona in his wombs in his mother's womb, could not be burned. Purport. The sages of Namasharanya become struck with wonder after hearing about the wonderful administration of Maharaj Parichit, especially in reference to his punishing the personality of Kali and making him completely unable to do any harm within the kingdom. Sutta Goswami was equally anxious to describe Maharaj Parikshit's wonderful birth and death, and this verse is stated by Sutta Goswami to increase the interest of the sages of Namasharanya. Text 2. Brahma kopti titadyastu takshakat prana viplavat Furthermore, Maharaj Parikshit was always consciously surrendered to the personality of Godhead, and therefore he was neither afraid nor overwhelmed by fear due to a snake bird, uh, which was to bite him because of the fury of a Brahmana boy. Purport. A self-surrendered devotee of the Lord is called Narayana Parayana. Such a person is never afraid of any place or person, not even of death. For him, nothing is as important as the Supreme Lord, and thus he gives equal importance to heaven and hell. He knows well that both heaven and hell are creations of the Lord, and similarly, life and death are different conditions of existence created by the Lord. But in all conditions and in all circumstances, remembrance of Narayana is essential. The Narayana Parayana practices this constantly. Maharaj Parikshit was such a pure devotee. He was wrongly, uh, wrongfully cursed by an inexperienced son of a Brahmana who was under the influence of Kali, and Maharaj Parikshit took this to be sent by Narayana. He knew that Narayan, Lord Krishna, had saved him when he was burned in the womb of his mother, and if he were to be killed by a snake bite, it would also take place by the will of the Lord. The devotee never goes against the will of the Lord. Anything sent by God is a blessing for the devotee. Therefore, Maharaj Parikshit was neither afraid of nor bewildered by such things. That is the sign of a pure devotee of the Lord. Text 3. Utsrija sarvata sangam vigyata jitta samstiti vayasha ker jaho sisyo Gangayam svam kalevaram. Furthermore, after leaving all his associates, the king surrendered himself as a disciple to the son of Vyasa, Shukadeva Goswami. And thus he was able to understand the actual position of the personality of Godhead, and at last gave up his material body on the bank of the Ganges. Purport. The word Ajitta is significant here. The personality of Godhead, Sri Krishna, is known as Ajitta or unconquerable, and he is so in every respect. No one can know his actual position. He is unconquerable by knowledge also. We have heard about his dham, or place, eternal Goloka Vrindavan, but there are many scholars who interpret this abode in different ways. But by the grace of a spiritual master like Shukadeva Goswami, unto whom the king gave himself up as a most humble disciple, one is able to understand the actual position of the Lord his eternal abode and his transcendental paraphernalia in that dom or abode. Knowing the transcendental position of the Lord and the transcendental method by which one can approach the transcendental dom, the king was confident about his ultimate destination. And by knowing this, he could leave aside everything material, even his own body, without any difficulty of attachment. 
In the Bhagavad Gita, it is stated, Param Dristva Nivartate. One can give up all connection with material attachment when one is able to see the param or the superior quality of such things. From Bhagavad Gita, we understand the quality of the Lord's energy that is superior to the material quality of energy. And by the grace of a bona fide spiritual master like Shukadeva Goswami, it is quite possible to know everything of the superior energy of the Lord by which the Lord manifests his eternal name, qualities, pastimes, paraphernalia, and variegatedness. Unless one thoroughly understands this superior, eternal nature, uh, eternal energy of the Lord, it is not possible to leave the material energy. How, however, one may theoretically speculate on the true nature of the absolute truth. By the grace of Lord Krishna, Maharaj Parikshit was able to receive the mercy of such a personality as Shukadeva Goswami, and thus he was able to know the actual position of the unconquerable Lord. It is very difficult to find the Lord from the Vedic scriptures, uh, from the Vedic literatures, but it is very easy to know him by the mercy of a liberated devotee like Shukadeva Goswami. Text 4. Notama shloka vartanam jusatam tat katam ritam syatsam brahmo nirtek Shyatsam Brahmanta Kalepi Kalepi Shyatsam Brahmanta Kalepi Smaratam Tat Padhambujam. This was so because those who have dedicated their lives to the transcendental topics of the personality of Godhead, of whom the Vedic hymns sing, and who are constantly engaged in remembering the lotus feet of the Lord. Do not run the risk of having misconceptions even at the last moment of their lives. Purport. The highest perfection of life is attained by remembering the transcendental nature of the Lord at the last moment of one's life. This perfection of life is made possible by one who has learned the actual transcendental nature of the Lord from the Vedic hymns sung by a liberated soul like Shukadeva Goswami or someone in that line of disciplic succession. There is no gain in hearing the Vedic hymns from some mental speculator. When the same is heard from an actual self-realized soul and is properly understood by service and submission, everything beco uh, becomes transparently clear. Thus a submissive disciple is able to live transcendentally and continue to the end of life. By scientific adaptation, one is able to remember the Lord even at the end of life when the power of remembrance is slackened due to derangement of bodily membranes. For a common man, it is very difficult to remember things as they are at the time of death, but by the grace of the Lord and his bona fide devotees, the spiritual masters, one can get this opportunity without difficulty. And it was done in the case of Maharaj Pariksha. Text five. Tabat Kalir Prabhavet. Pravishto piha sarvata, Yavadi sho mahan urvyam, Abhimanyava ekarat. As long as the great powerful son of Abhimanyu remains the emperor of the world, there is no chance that the personality of Kali will flourish. Purple. As we have already explained, the personality of Kali had entered the jurisdiction of this earth long ago, and he was looking for an opportunity to spread his influence all over the world but he could not do so satisfactorily due to the presence of Maharaj Pariksit. This is the way of good government. The disturbing elements like the personality of Kali will always try to extend their nefarious activities, but it is the duty of the able state to check them by all means. Although Maharaj Pariksit allotted places for the personality of Kali, at the time he gave no chance for the citizens to be swayed by the personality of Kali. Text six. Yasmin Ahani Yaryeva Bhagavan Utsarja Bhagavan Utsa Sarjagam Tadhaive Hanu Vritosav Adharma Prabhava Kali. The very day and moment the personality of Godhead, Lord Sri Krishna, left this earth, the personality of Kali, who promotes all kinds of irreligious activities, came into this world. Purport. The personality of Godhead and his holy name, qualities, etc., are all identical. 
the personality of Kali was not able to enter the jurisdiction of the earth due to the presence of the personality of God. And similarly, if there is an arrangement for the constant chanting of the holy names, qualities, etc., of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, there is no chance at all for the personality of Kali to enter. That is the technique of driving away the personality of Kali from the world. In modernized human society, there are great advancements of material science, and they have invented the radio to distribute sound in the air. So instead of vibrating some nuisance sound for sense enjoyment, if the state arranges to distribute transcendental sound by resounding the holy name, fame, and activities of the Lord, as they are authorized in Bhagavad Gita or Srimad Bhagavatam, then a favorable condition will be created. The principles of religion in the world will be reestablished, and thus the executive heads who are so anxious to drive away corruption from the world will be successful. Nothing is bad if properly used for the service of the Lord. Text 7. Nanudvesti kalim samrat, sharhanga eva sarabuk, kushalan yasu sidhyanti, netrani krit, netarani kritani yat. Maharaj Parikshit was a realist, like the bees who only accept the essence of a flower. He knew perfectly well that in this age of Kali, auspicious things produce good effects immediately whereas inauspicious acts must be actually performed to render effects. So he was never envious of the personality of Kali. Purport. The age of Kali is called the fallen age. In this fallen age, because the living beings are in an awkward position, the Supreme Lord has given some special facilities to them. So by the will of the Lord, a living being does not become a victim of sinful act until the act is actually performed. In other ages, simply by thinking of performing a sinful act, one used to become a victim of the act. On the contrary, a living being in this age is awarded with the results of pious acts simply by thinking of them. Maharaj Parikshit, being the most learned and experienced king by the grace of the Lord, was not unnecessarily envious of the personality of Kali, because he did not intend to give him any chance to perform any sinful act. He protected his subjects from falling prey to the sinful acts of the age of Kali, and at the same time, he gave full facility to the age of Kali by allotting him some particular places. At the end of Srimad Bhagavatam, it is said that even though all nefarious activities of the personality of Kali are present, there is a great advantage in the age of Kali. One can attain salvation simply by chanting the holy name of the Lord. Thus, Maharaj Parikshit made an organized effort to propagate the chanting of the Lord's holy name, and thus he saved the citizens from the clutches of Kali. It is for this advantage only that great sages sometimes wish all good for the age of Kali. In the Vedas, also it is said that by discourse on Lord Krishna's activities, one can get rid of all the disadvantages of the age of Kali. In the beginning of Srimad Bhagavatam, it is also said that by recitation, uh, by recitation of Srimad Bhagavatam, the Supreme Lord becomes at once arrested within the heart. These are some of the great advantages of the age of Kali, and Maharaj Pariksha took all advantages and did not think of any ill within the age of Kali. True to his Vaishnavite cult. Text 8. Kim nu baleshu surena, Kalina dhira biruna, Apramata param pramateshu, Yovriko nrishu vartate. Maharaj Parikshit considered that less intelligent men might find the personality of Kali to be very powerful, but that those who are self-controlled would have nothing to fear. The king was powerful like a tiger and took care for the foolish, careless persons. Purport. Those who are not devotees of the Lord are careless and unintelligent. Unless one is thoroughly intelligent, one cannot be a devotee of the Lord. Those who are not devotees of the Lord fall prey to the actions of Kali it will not be possible to bring about a saner condition in society unless we are prepared to accept the modes of action adopted by Maharaj Parikshit. 
i.e. propagation of the devotional service of the Lord to the common man. Text 9. Upabarnitam etadva punyam parikshitamaya vasudeva katopetam akhyanam yad aprichata O sages, as you did ask me, now I have described almost everything regarding the narrations about Lord Krishna in connection with the history of the pious Maharaj Parikshit. Purport. Srimad Bhagavatam is the history of the activities of the Lord. And the activities of the Lord are performed in relation with the devotees of the Lord. Therefore, the history of the devotees is not different from the history of Lord Krishna's activities. A devotee of the Lord regards both the activities of the Lord and those of his pure devotees on an equal level, for they are all transcendental. Text 10. Yaya kata bhagavata katani horu karmana guna karma shraya pumbi samesh vyastha bhubhusubi Those who are desirous of achieving complete perfection in life must submissively hear all topics that are connected with the transcendental activities and qualities of the personality of Godhead, who acts wonderfully. Purport. The systematic hearing of the transcendental activities, qualities, and names of Lord Sri Krishna pushes one towards eternal life. Systematic hearing means knowing him gradually in truth and fact. And this knowing him in truth and fact means attaining eternal life, as stated in Bhagavad Gita. Such transcendental glorified activities of Lord Sri Krishna are prescribed remedy for counteracting the process of birth, death, old age, and disease, which are considered to be material awards for the conditioned living being. The culmination of such a perfectional stage of life is the goal of human life and the attainment of transcendental bliss. Thus ends our reading for today. We will continue from text 11 on Friday, hopefully. Jai Om Vishnu Pad Paramahamsa Shripad Bhakti Madhava Puri Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Srila Prabhupada Srila Guru Maharaj Srila Guru Dev Srila Acharya Dev Srila Shanta Maharaj Ki Jai All glories to our Rupanuga Guru Varga Ki Jai all glories to the assembled devotees. All glories to the worldwide devotees. Bhakti Vrinda Ki Jai. All glories to Navadvip Dam Ki Jai. Nishinga Puli Dam Ki Jai. Mayapur Dam Ki Jai. Ekachakra Dam Ki Jai. Jagannath Puri Dam Ki Jai. Baladev Subhadra Jagannath Ju Ki Jai. Jai Vrindavan Dam Ki Jai. Giri Govardhan. Gupta Govardhan Dam Ki Jai. Sham Kund, Radha Kund, Ki Jai, Tosu Devi, Bhakti Devi, Vrinda Devi, Ki Jai. Nitai Gora Pramanandi, Hari 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 Haribo, Dhanabha Pranam.